Hello and welcome. So you made a love to D game and you want to turn it into a portable Windows exe file, right? Well, make sure to download love 32 bits zipped right here and then extract it. So if you open it and drag your game onto the love.exe, then it runs. Wonderful. So what do we do next? We go inside the game folder, we select everything right-click and send to compress zipped folder. This one we rename to game.love and yes we want to change the ending. If you don't see the file endings go to view options change folder and search options and there go to view and uncheck hide extensions for known file types. Move the game.love into the folder with the love.exe you can close the game folder and inside the love folder hold the shift key it's the one above control the one for making letters big and then right click and then use the open command window here command in it write copy slash b love dot exe plus game dot love space game dot exe and it's done. You can close it and if you run game.exe game it works start. and you can delete game.love and be love.exe and it still works. Now what you're not supposed to do is delete all the other files because if you do that yep the program can start because Lua 51 DLL is missing etc etc and this and etc and come on. Right so just don't do that you can uh, change the changes and readme files accordingly and license so that it so it's clear that it only refers to the engine not to your game but basically you're done what you should do now is rename the folder and you can also rename the exe and what you probably want to do now is change the icon for that I recommend you use GIMP which is free and open source a bit complicated but pretty good and you should drag the game or love.ico file in there so that you get the appropriate layers and I'm just gonna import an image I would like to use and I'm gonna resize it to 256 pixels square and that's gonna be the bottom layer I just click on this layer I paste I click somewhere else this one I believe is half so let's scale this of course if you do pro proper icon design you need to do it differently but this is good enough so we keep scaling and pasting and then we just go to file export as and we're gonna call it game.ico we can go with the defaults or maybe we want to lower to 8-bit and you can see the effect in, on the left we're gonna go with 24-bit for the top image and we're gonna export so here we have a file and now what we want to do is hack the exe file to use this icon we can actually delete the love.ico file we're not going to use that and what I recommend is that you use the resource hacker which is freeware and you just start it with resourcehacker.exe so before you start editing with the resource hacker rename your my game exe to nonsense because you're going to have to change the name later and in here you can open the icon group right click it replace icon open file with new icon and then pick the game.ico file just press open and replace just press save and close it you will get nonsense.exe and nonsense original you can get rid of the original one and of the game ico file and now this icon is still the same but as soon as you rename it it will have the new icon and now for the final step to distribute your game you should zip it 
just send it to compressed zipped folder and this is the file you can upload. I recommend you use version numbers like 1.0. Maybe there will be bugs, maybe you will replace the zip file eventually and now you can upload it to itch or steam or wherever you happen to distribute it. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Ciao!